Now, I once explained it many times, actually. In order for a person to be a complete righteous Jew, he needs three things to have in him. One, he has to be great with keeping the mitzvot, the commandments, not to, not to break any laws of the Torah, and to practice all the positive commandments, meaning the whole 613, most of them are not in effect today. They're not so relevant because we don't have the temple. Some of the mitzvot is only for women, some is for someone who slaughter animals, someone is, some is for a judge. If you remove all these mitzvot, general mitzvot for men or women, it's a few dozens of mitzvot, that's it. Not even a hundred are in effect weekly. So if you keep those mitzvot, you avoid breaking any laws of the Torah, you have one third of the obligation you have to fulfill. One third. That's it. It's only one third. You can still fail. You can keep all the commandments and still fail in a general test. What's the second third? You have to fix all your bad traits. Gotta get rid of your pride, your ego, your anger, your jealousy, your laziness, your stinginess, your selfishness. There's so many things we have to fix in our daily life. Who can raise his hand and say, I'm perfect in a midot? Even people that look perfect, when you speak to them one-on-one, -on -one, they'll confess to you that some, they have some weaknesses. How do I know? If they didn't have any weakness and all their personality traits were perfect, they probably already would be in heaven. There's nothing for them to do here in Queens. You know? So that's the second third. Keeping, like, fixing all the personality traits. The midot. Tikuna midot ze kola adam. The gaon mi vilna say. Fixing your personality traits. This is what the human being is all about. So if you keep all the commandments and you fixed all your midot, you have two thirds already. That's very good. But the most important third out of everything is the ideology. You have to think like God think. You have to love what he love and you have to hate what he hate. When you hear the news, you walk to a place, I don't know, doctor's office and you hear the news. If you have Jewish Ashkafa, you want to vomit. Five minutes news. Five minutes news, it's enough to vomit ten times from the nonsense they talk about when they describe the war, when they speak about the politician, when they speak about the gay marriage, when they speak about demonstration, when they speak about taxes, everything they speak about is heresy. In Israel, and needless to say in the United States. 